That's right, word study seems like that mission impossible that we chose to accept, but we just don't have time to fit it in. In fact, I almost feel like I'm the one self-destructing. So maybe it's time we get our heads around word study and weave it into our workshops in a way that's going to be manageable for us and meaningful for our students. In fact, for this mission, I think we need a three-pronged approach. The good news is we're already giving the kids the first prong, and that's a language-rich classroom with reading and writing every single day. Research shows that when kids read and write regularly, their vocabulary increases. Don't tell anyone, but we don't even have to do anything and they'll get smarter. The second prong is to deliver content-based vocabulary, which we can deliver in many lessons throughout each and every unit. I know what you're saying. There's no content in RLA. But there is. Listen, when you write an essay, you need those words to get from one idea to the next. Those list of transitions can be a word study lesson. Or when students are studying character traits in the character unit, they can make word ladders of character traits. Those would be word study lists. But what I really want to talk to you about is that third prong, and it has to do with Greek and Latin roots. You see, 90% of the words with more than one syllable in the English language come from Latin roots, and most of the 10% of the other come from Greek roots. Not only that, one Greek or Latin root can generate from 5 to 20 words in the English language. By the way, generate comes from the Greek or Latin root gen, which means kind or origin. There are a ton of words with that one. Of course, there are added benefits of studying Greek and Latin roots. Students develop word attack skills, where they break down words into prefixes, bases, and suffixes. And when they come across new words, they can decode them and try and figure them out, like a detective. Or should I say secret agent? They may also learn that certain words have stories behind them. Take salary, for example. The base word for salary has to do with salt. In Roman times, soldiers were paid in salt for their services. Pretty cool, huh? I still don't know why when I read my salary payment, I say, sweet, instead of saying, salty. And another added benefit, when studying Greek and Latin roots, they'll become classic. And who doesn't like to be classic? Just ask this guy. Now I know what you're thinking. Sounds like we might be adding something to an already packed curriculum. I think if we're strategic in which routes we select and make connections to what's already existing in our curriculum or maybe the social studies or science curriculums, we'll just be enhancing the curriculum, not adding to it. The thing is I think we'll find is once we get it started, it's just going to build on itself and the kids will keep it going. They'll learn things like with prefixes, it either has to deal with the direction, the level of intensity, or whether it's a positive or negative connotation of the base. And with suffixes, they primarily deal with how the words are used, and they determine the parts of speech. With the cumulative approach combined with a few routines, the kids will just get stronger and stronger in terms of word study. And if we work together to make some of these lessons come alive in our classes, we'll turn a mission impossible to mission possible. So instead of us being the ones who are going to self-destruct, let's let our worry about word study be the one that's going to self-destruct in five, four, three, two, one.